everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I'm coming to share with you something I added to our medicine organization. This week has been a very hectic week with my daughter being sick and sometimes I wake up during the middle of the night having to administer her medication and something I don't even know where I am, what time it is, and when was the last time I gave her medicine. So here's something I added to help keep track of when I administer her medication and also keep track of her temperature. I hope this will help you too, especially with us entering into fall season soon. And this is the time of season that my family starts to get colds and sniffles. So stay tuned if you are interested in seeing how I keep track of administering medication to my children. We're in my bathroom and this is the closet that um, I keep our linen in as well as our family's medication. Now, first I'll just share with you really briefly how I store our medicine. If you see the top shelf here, um, the large boxes to your right are my children's nebulizer machines. So each, um, each my two youngest children have nebulizer machines and I have each one in a box. And in that box I have their medication, I have hand um, sanitizer wipes and things like that and I have each of their masks stored inside boxes in the box to keep everything dust free. Um, in the, to the left of you here, um, you can see my son's brace. This is current, you know, recent. His brace for his leg as well as extra um, albuterol medication and a humidifier. The second shelf here, the basket to your right is pain medicine, heating pad, um, any medication that we may need like Tylenols and um, cold medicine are in this basket. To the left, each of the family members, we all have our own box with our medication in. This is so I could keep track of whose medicine is who, um, when, um, when the medicine expires, when I need to get refills on their medicine. And whoever's looking like my older children, if they need medicine and my husband and myself, we can just go to our box and get that medication out that we need. And as well as the next shelf under that um, is one of the boxes has thermometer and fever control like Tylenol and Motrin. And my dog even has his little box and then some little extra medication in the box right there. So that's how I store our medication. And it ha it's really helpful, helps me keep track of who's who, who needs what, and how to get their refills. Now here, I hope it's not a glare. You might see my little shadow. I hope it's not a glare. You might see a little shadow. My lighting in my bathroom is not the greatest. But if you remember, I did a video on adding these cling calendar and I guess you can call it like the note, empty note sheet onto my fr refrigerator. After going back, going back and forth to the emergency room and temperatures up and down this week, I went back to the Dollar Tree and picked up the calendar as well as another clear, clean sheet to put in the inside of the closet door where the medication is. Now what I've done with this is this is how I keep track of when I administer medication to each, either child, whoever or even myself or my husband. Um, if we need medication, what time we receive the medication, how much we received, and if there's like a temperature at that time, I would put the temperature, you know, what was the temperature at that time. It really helps me keep track because sometimes you don't remember what time you took the temperature. You don't remember what time you took the medicine. At that time, give the medication. Yeah, you know what time it is, but with the hustle and bustle of life and things happening, when it's time for another dose of medication, sometimes I don't even remember my name. So this has been so very helpful to me. Like I say, even there are times when you have to get up in the middle of the night to make sure you check on your child's temperature. Since like if I get up in the middle of the night to check her temperature, I mean, I'm groggy, and like I say, I, I don't know what's going on. So I can come right here and look and see, okay, I gave her her last um, 
medication at this time. This was the medica um this was the medication I gave her. This was her temperature and I keep track of it that way and it's very helpful especially when you have to alternate the medications like alternating the Motrin and the Tylenol. You may not remember if you gave them Tylenol before or Motrin before. It's it's just so much going on and God forbid you have more than one sick child at a time and you're administering medications to two children or three children. So it's very, very helpful. I did like a little note at the bottom. This morning I gave her her amoxicillin, her antibiotic at 9, 10 a.m. I put one teaspoon because that's how much I gave her. Temperature at that time, I, I'm also taking that time if I administer medication, even if I'm not giving her um, fever medication, I put down what I take her temperature so I could keep track. Like I, we were having her temperature was like 104.9 at one moment this week, and I've really been on it because that was very scary. So um, I put the temperature at that time. So at the bottom, what I did, I wrote a little note. I didn't want to go right up under where I gave her the medication and put amoxicillin again and put the next time that it's supposed to be administered because I might get confused. When I come here, I wouldn't know if I gave it to her or not. So I put a little note at the bottom and it says, note, next amoxicillin dose at 9, 10 p.m., one teaspoon. And I'm also putting one teaspoon because um, on medication, sometimes they don't tell you teaspoon, they tell you milliliters or milligrams, you know, or whatever that ML, the ML, and I don't know what that is. All I know is teaspoon. <laughs> okay, at the top here, I decided to use a calendar because, um, now you wouldn't have to use this all the time because your kids aren't getting sick throughout the year, but when they do get sick, I put September, okay, I entered the dates. So Monday was the first day she started running the temperature. I put the temp, I put temperature and I drew a line of how long she's been running the temperature. Tuesday went, we, we went to the ER. Thursday we went to the ER. So like I say, I, when this is over with, I pretty much probably erase this at the end of October or whenever I have to use it again. So that's no biggie. But I thought it was beneficial because you have to take them to the hospital. The doctor's asked you, when did she start running the temperature? Or when did he start running the temperature? And you have to think, you know, okay, it was Monday or it was Tuesday. But this just helps jog our memory a little bit so we'll know what's going on, how to relate it to the doctors, and it would just all be beneficial for us. So that is how I've been keeping track this week of administering my daughter medication. It has been very beneficial. I hope this video is beneficial to you and it can help you keep track of medication or anything that's going on health-wise with our children during this upcoming season. Subscribe, like, and comment on this video. So tell me, how are you organizing your medication as well as keeping track of administering medication to your children? Hey, thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.